Hey everybody, Adam Savage here in my cave with uh, a show and tell of some fan mail we got recently here at Tested from one of our friends in Sweden. What is not to love about Sweden? Uh, they, Sweden gave us Simone Yach. What could be better than that? Uh, but also, uh, I happen to be corresponding with a, uh, a collector in Sweden for a thing I'm going to add to the cave. That'll all be apparent in a video later, but I've just found out that Sweden has a holiday called Valborg, where, quote, we celebrate the arrival of spring, scare away any witches returning after their yearly feast with Satan and burn all of our crap from our neighboring gardens. There are hundreds of thousands of bonfires being lit all over Scandinavia on the 30th of April. You have a holiday in which you set shit on fire? Sweden, I didn't think I could love you anymore. <laughs> um, however, it goes even deeper because I got this beautiful little package from a fan that came with a little book. And I'm a big, I'm fond of little books. Uh, first of all, you should take a look and see that one of Charlotte Bronte's early self-published little books of writings just went up for auction and sold for a princely sum. Uh, but the Bronte sisters were fans of making little books. Yeah. And one of the earliest things I made, I remember specifically in first or first or second grade, um, taking bits of construction paper and stapling them and making little books, just like this, a little bit bigger. Um, this one comes from a fan named Mia, and Mia says, Dear Mr. Savage, greeting, greetings and salutations from the land of the Vikings. Sweden, my people, there's some Vikings in the past. Um, I've sent you this little box of treats, some typical Swedish chocolates and gift as a thank you for the inspiring content. We'll cover the sweets in a minute. You are a source of joy and inspiration, a candle that shines bright. Oh, you're very sweet. Uh, much needed in these gloomy days. Uh, my gifts are simple, but it gives me joy to make you and share. Thus, I gift anew to you. Um, and the gifts that Mia sent me are incredibly sweet. One is a tiny wooden box clearly made out of tongue depressors. Yeah. I guess they have slightly wider tongue depressors in Sweden, inside of which is oh, a crocheted hammer, adorbs. Um, there is a crocheted astronaut, oh, adorbs. Um, and then there is a crocheted ornament, clearly, or I guess it could be an earring of a rocket on a planetoid with differential sized craters, dude. Um, yeah, uh, the pat, yeah, so here are the patterns for the pieces. Yeah, so you could go make these yourself. And then Mia says, I fan mailed you once before a little mini you with a Totoro costume and a mini dodo. And I was like, I remember you. Now, <clears throat> I know that some of you have concerns about my hoarding capabilities which is totally a reasonable concern. And I do too. <laughs> but when I hear something like that and I'm like, oh, that rings a bell. And I go over to a cabinet and I'm able to immediately locate the dodo that Mia made for me, as well as the mini me that she made for me with this real blingy watch. I mean, I really love this removable hat. Yes. And a dodo costume that mini me could actually wear. Yeah, Mia, I remember these because these have a place of pride on my shelf of awesome fan art. Um, so thank you. The pieces you already sent now have company on the shelf. You can hang them on a key ring, hang them from a thread, stick a wire in them to make them float. The option is all yours. Um, Sweden, can I tell you your candy game is really strong. First of all, I love plops. <laughs> I, I ate both of those. There are no candies in any of these wrappers because I ate them all last night. Um, here we have the hot cream delicato delicate ball. Um, this is like a, a, a this is like um my brain doesn't work. It's er, it's the first thing in the morning. This is the first thing I'm shooting in the morning. Will you give me that excuse? It is like a, a cream chocolate. What do you call a ganache? Uh, filled like a uh, truffle ball sort of thing. Um, we have Dummel, Dummel, 
Do, I mean, look, Simone's last name is spelled G-I-E-R-T-Z and it's pronounced Yatch. So there's no way I'm getting any of these pronunciations right. Um, there is Marabou, which I thought was like a fabric with feathers on it, but it's also a candy. And I believe, I, I don't read Swedish, but I believe that says milk chocolate. Um, oh, right. And then one more Dumal. And then there was something larger that I ate and we lost the wrapper. Mia, Sweden in general. Thank you so much for all that you give to the world. Um, yeah, these guys are so cute. I'm going to shoot some close-ups of these beautiful bits of crochet. Um, so the question is, does this go on the fan art shelf or does it go on the astronaut shelf? I think quite clearly it goes on the astronaut shelf. Yeah, without a doubt. Um, dude, and the dodo inside the cloche. Uh, chef's kiss, really lovely. Thank you for the treats. Thank you for the treats. Uh, thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time. Cheers. One of the things I love about this channel is that we don't make how-to videos so much as we make what happened videos. And what almost always happens are mistakes and screw-ups. In fact, they're completely integral to making and honestly to being a person. And to celebrate this, Tested has a new batch of demerit badges for the screw-ups you will encounter in the shop. From left to right, we have touching your paint job, assembling things backwards, losing a tiny screw or part, gluing your fingers together, and smashing your thumb. And frankly, if you haven't done both of these, even if you're not a maker, I just don't feel like you've experienced enough of the world. I'm not saying get out a hammer and smash your thumb, but I will tell you that the blacker your fingernail after the injury, the less it's gonna hurt in the long run. I almost forgot, these make excellent additions to your shop apron and they are available at tested-store.com.